Hey guys, this is Nefarious411 with episode 3 of my modded survival series. Um, in the, uh, the previous episode, um, we were able to create this uh, smeltery. Um, I raised it up one block. This is just a 2x2. Uh, two two. And I started uh, mining in between episodes. And I uh, threw a bunch of ores in here and I didn't even think about it. And a lot of these actually mixed together. Uh, such as the uh, silver and gold to uh, make electrum and um, bronze. Uh, I can't remember what that is. It's like copper and aluminum or I can't remember. But um, I was able to uh, smelt up quite a bit. Um, but I think in this episode I want to actually move my temporary base closer to um, lava. That way I can get um, a lot more supplies um, a little bit faster. So let me go ahead and run down here. There's uh, quite a bit of lava down here and I actually want to just set up a temporary smeltery um, down here. Um, I could create a uh, thermal expansion tank if I wanted to, but I'd still have to go back and forth between uh, my base up at the surface and down here. This is just going to be a small, I don't know, uh, station, <laughs> if you will. Um, I'm not sure what I would call it, but uh, this is not going to be my permanent base, but this is just going to be a temporary area while I'm just getting set up. So let me go ahead and start carving out a portion of um, this area. Um, this is uh, Y level 11, um, right at the uh, the lava level, so I should be able to find plenty of lava in here. And if you can see from my uh, mini map, the uh, the journey map, there is quite a bit of lava around here. And I uh, brought down my seared bricks, um, so I should be able to at least create another smeltery and uh, drains and stuff like that. Um, and then I'll be able to uh, just transport all of my items back up to the other uh, surface later. Um, who knows if I'm going to do majority of this series in the uh, tunnels and stuff inside the other uh, caves, then I may not actually leave. I don't know. We'll have to uh, see where things go. I'm just going to go with uh, organic base. Um, nothing really planned in the series. I think uh, doing things in an organic way is a little bit more fun, less tedious than having to uh, completely plan things out. And it'll give us time to uh, fix things and go around make new things um, all without any kind of schedule. And I think that would be really fun. So let me go ahead and set up my crafting table. Um, maybe I'll do it right there. Uh, I guess that's an okay spot. I don't think there's any mobs around me. Or there might be a creeper near me. I'm not sure if that is a creeper on the mini-map, but I'll try to stay clear of them. And I am going to carve out a little bit more and uh, make sure that I have enough space for a decent sized smeltery. I'll probably just do a 2x2 two two for now, because I probably am still lacking quite a bit of the uh, seared bricks um, to make anything bigger. But I did bring up... Well, I thought I brought down gravel, um, but I did bring down uh, the clay and the, uh, the sand so I can make more seared brick um, if I needed to uh, create a larger one. But let me go ahead and do that, and I'll be back as soon as I have something available. All right, guys, I am back, and I went ahead and cleared out a little bit of space, um, and I have a too high um, smeltery. Um, it's a 2x2, two two, um, just as it was upstairs. Um, I had some of this uh, seared cobblestone that I was experimenting with before and it seems to be working for me. Um, I didn't realize that the uh, seared cobblestone will also work um, in here. I thought I had to uh, smelt this up again and get the uh, the ingots of the other uh, seared bricks, but looks like I don't have to do that. And I went ahead and put the, uh, the drains on the other uh, second level. That way it's a little bit easier access for me than having to uh, put it all on the floor. But what I want to do is... Oh no! Diamond! I have been searching around and this is the first diamond that I've seen. So, <laughs> actually I caught it on camera. That's pretty cool. Um, let me uh, go ahead and snag that. It looks like there's a couple. I want to make sure that there's no lava underneath. 
Well, I at least have three, four. Let me just dig around a little bit more just to make sure that that was it of that vein. Four diamonds, that's not bad. It's not bad at all for my uh, first time getting them. All right, very cool. Let me just go ahead and fill this in. I'm sure that I'm going to uh, get those ores out eventually. Oops, trapped myself in. Cool. That is actually pretty good. So now I'll be able to at least harvest some uh, um, obsidian soon. Maybe I can make my way into the nether. But what I'm doing right here is basically putting a hopper down below the uh, casting table and uh, that's going to empty right into the uh, chest. So whenever I um, get some ingots made it'll actually pull out and put it in the uh, chest immediately. So that'll help with any kind of automation and while I'm thinking about it I might be down here for a while, so I think I might actually create, let's see, do I not have it? Um, I am actually going to create a chisel. So let me go ahead and come over here, put this in here, and that is not a chisel. How do I make a chisel? There we go. Cool, so now I should be able just to uh, make any block that I want want to actually make a stack and I think just to uh, make the base a little bit better looking um, I think I'm going to use these for the other uh, floor I mean I'll probably uh, make something later um, that's a little bit more better looking but this will actually help beautify it a little bit so that'll be pretty good and I'll do all of this off camera because I'm still unsure how large I'm going to have this uh, this base and now I actually want to uh, I actually kinda like to automate pulling this out um, there's a couple of ways I can do it I can either use like a fluid duct uh, directly um, which I do not know where those are that is actually really weird. I thought they were fluid ducts. Maybe they were liquid ducts. Um, I don't see it there either. Uh, let's see how much are the conduits from Ender IO. Um, I could go with this one. It requires some composite. I could probably do this one. That's just the uh, normal one and this is the pressurized one which requires fused quartz this one oh this one has quite clear glass which requires the alloy smelter and I don't have any power um, right now so I wonder does it do we have this uh, clock yeah so we might have to go old school with this and just do a, a redstone clock for the time being but honestly, I have not seen any redstone yet. Um, or actually, I might change my answer on that. I think I did see some redstone way back in the uh, the caves. So why don't you uh, follow me for a little bit, and we can uh, take a look at the uh, the caves that I've explored so far. You can see that there's quite a bit of exposed ore um, just laying around. I might actually oh, figures. I would come with <laughs> with a uh, full inventory. Um, let me go ahead and craft a table here. Let's see, drop that on the ground. Oh, well, this is going to be annoying. Um, I will come and get this later, but I'm going to grab a chest. And this chest will just be random stuff. That'll work. Ooh, I do not want to lose my diamonds, and I'll keep my food. That'll work. So let me go ahead and keep running this way. And I should be able to find where I had redstone. I was trying to follow the torches. I placed all the, uh, the torches on the right-hand side, so hopefully that'll 
help identify my way through the other uh, tunnels. Um, that way I don't get lost. But if I come through here, I think the redstone that I found, I could just start mining, but I just have the iron pickaxe and no way to really repair that. So I didn't want to deal with anything that is going to have a lot of durability and lose it. Hello. I wondered when I'd see somebody like you. Yay, zombie head. That'll actually help moving forward. But let me see if I can find... Yeah, you can see how large this area is. And I actually need to remember how to get back out of there because it took me a little bit last time I was in the other uh, cave. And it figures I did not bring any torches. Let me grab a couple of these and see if I can find some coal. Because with the uh, Tinker's Construct, you have the ability to make sticks, well, essentially sticks, these uh, stone tool rods, um, just with cobble. And that is a little bit easier whenever you're down in the caves, um, if you're without torches. So let me keep going this way. You can see, well, obviously I haven't been this way, but there's like a uh, cave system here, and apparently a world hole. So I shouldn't go that way, otherwise I'll have some issues with my client. Uh, where was that? Redstone. I think it was actually down this way. <laughs> so I might actually have to re-log real quick um, to see if I can keep going that direction. I will be right back. Alright, so after a quick re-log, it looks like we are back up, and that was not the way, apparently. Um, where did I go to find that redstone? It was just sitting there, and there was quite a bit of it. I don't think this was the way either. But might as well just explore a little bit. Try not to die. Well, there's some redstone. Ooh. Uh, not in a very good spot. Uh. Let me see if I can do this without dying. Um, that might actually work. Alright, grabbed it. So how much redstone do I actually need? I need five. I have four. <laughs> so I need one more redstone. So this is actually a nice cave down here. Oh, there's a redstone right there. Yay! Go ahead and grab both of these because I'm sure that I'm going to need uh, quite a bit of redstone coming up. But it does look like this is a really good cave system. And I should be able to uh, come here and mine everything that I need. Quite a bit of obsidian. That's good. That way I don't have to use my the lava that's close to my base for obsidian. Let me see if I can find my way back up. And I will meet you as soon as I'm back up to um, my temporary base. Alright guys, I am back and I picked up a lot of the stuff that I had in the other uh, chest, um, that temporary chest that I made. But I think I am ready to go ahead and create this uh, redstone torch, or the, uh, the redstone clock. And figures, <laughs> I need one piece of smooth stone. So let me come in here. Can I burn this? Come on, burn. No, that does not burn. I did not want to waste, so maybe I'll uh, convert some sticks. That's a good idea. So let me come in here, burn a couple of these with sticks. Come on, come on, and there we go. So this will give us redstone clock. Basically this is um, something that just pulses every couple of ticks. I can't remember exactly how much time. It doesn't say on the uh, tooltip. But uh, this will allow me to just place it right here and simulate a right click. 
So this will just empty the other uh, smeltery, and because I have the uh, hopper down there going into this chest, everything will automatically get expelled out into that. So I should be able to come in here and start throwing some of these other um, ores in here, and I want to make sure that I don't accidentally uh, mix any of these. So I want to make sure that these are at least mostly gone because some of these will actually create the alloys such as the aluminum brass and stuff like that and I don't want that to happen. I, I want to make sure that whenever I need alloys that it's because I did it and not because I accidentally allowed the uh, smeltery to mix those. So let me go ahead and create a, uh, another chest real quick and I probably need to create maybe a uh, store it. <laughs> There's redstone right there. Nice. <laughs> it figures that there would be redstone right next to uh, my base. That's fine. I'll definitely be using this later. Wow, that's actually a pretty big vein. And some gold. I'm probably getting a little bit too eager here. And I'm going to end up mining into the uh, lava, and sure enough, there's the lava. <laughs> Let me uh, close that off. Whoa, that was weird. And I think just for the uh, time being, I can just uh, put my chests over here somewhere. Don't really have a uh, spot for these, but it's probably good as any. And I'm just going to stick some of my gems and stuff in there. And probably need another hopper, actually. And do I have enough iron? It doesn't look like it. I thought I had more iron than that. I um, guess I just have to wait for this iron to smelt. Because I want to do something else as well. Um, in this episode, I want to go ahead and create the other parts to the uh, Tinker's Construct. And that's going to involve uh, creating all of the other uh, different patterns and tables and uh, part builder and all of that. So let me go ahead and start that direction. And I'll probably be putting it over here um, because I'll probably be expanding this. Um, well, actually, because of the fact that the casting table is there, it probably makes more sense to come out this way. I could always move it and I probably will several times in the series, but I think this will uh, be a better spot for it. There we go, and I'll probably just put the uh, items there. And let me go ahead and grab some wood. And if I remember right, I need those there. Okay, cool. So, oh, that gives me four patterns. Um, let me actually get three sets of that for now. And now I need to create a table, a crafting table, put a pattern on it, and that gives me a tool station and a book apparently. Um, I need a chest. Maybe a different chest. I don't want to keep mixing my chests here. There we go. Ugh. I am out of space. Let me just put a bunch of crap together and put it in here. This will work. Um, there. Take it. I'll probably want this book because this is the uh, Materials in You by Tinker's Construct. Um, this should at least uh, give us all of the information on all of the, uh, the different tools and stuff and all of the durability and all of the uh, different materials that you can use and all of the modifiers so this is a really good book to have and I'm going to definitely keep um, hold of this um, but let me while I'm here might as well throw the rest of this iron in there we go and this should have already emptied which it did cool I am going to create I do not have enough wood, but I do want to create another hopper. And that's going to be a chest with iron around it. Ah, misclick. 
There we go. And we can just stick this hopper right on top of that controller. And now we'll be able to uh, feed stuff in. But I want to make sure that I don't accidentally um, feed in... Be a fancy a little bit. Uh, feed in anything that's going to uh, create alloys, but I don't think uh, iron and gold mix, so that should be good. And so now, what happened to all my patterns? No, oh, I threw those up in there. Tool station. Let's go ahead and put that down. And this is going to be the place to actually create the things, but I need other items such as a part builder. There's a stencil table. Um, part builder. How do I create a part builder? There's a part builder. Cool. So stencil table. Um, I'm not going to use this too often, so I could probably just stick on this side for the time being. I don't really need that in between. Um, but here's my part builder, and that'll be handy. And I'll probably want a chest with one of these patterns on it, and that'll give us a uh, pattern chest. And this, I can just stick right back here. And now you can see that the adjacent inventory is available, and I should be able to uh, rock and roll with that. So here, I want to go ahead, I want to create an alamite pick. Um, because this is going to be something that we can create Let's see, Where, where's the recipes for alamite? Did I pass that? Um, this will be um, something that we can mine a little bit faster than, I think it's about the same speed as diamond, but it allows you to uh, mine cobalt, um, which is going to be in the nether. It doesn't have that in here. Um, I do not know the recipe for alamite. Um, alamite, let me see if I can find it in here. Alright, so this is going to be molten, um, aluminum, iron, and obsidian. So I need to grab some obsidian. Um, if I remember right, I don't know if the rubies will allow me to mine obsidian, but I might as well go ahead and check it. And uh, let me go find obsidian and I will be back. All right, guys, I am back, and I have found that the ruby pickaxe will not work on obsidian, so that's uh, fairly unfortunate. I tried to uh, break the obsidian over here, but even in the uh, Wayla, you can see that it's not currently harvestable with the, uh, the ruby pickaxe. But um, I went ahead and went through NEI to see what other options that we had. And I came across the, uh, the block breakers. Um, we don't have any power right now, so using like the um, the mine factory reloaded block breaker is not going to work for us right now. Um, open blocks it requires a diamond pickaxe. Uh, I could just create a diamond pickaxe and mine it myself. Uh, but then there's also a uh, terrain smasher. And this is with thermal expansion. And this one uses an Invar pickaxe, so this one's probably a little bit more doable. So let me go ahead. I think I have majority of the things that I need in order to uh, create this. So let me go ahead and create my pneumatic servo. Uh, piston. I thought I had everything. Did I run out of... Oh, I must have grabbed tin. Instead of iron? I swore I had a lot more iron than that. I must have dropped it somewhere. Alright, so... Um, piston. What am I missing now? Let me just do this by hand. Oh, that's aluminum. Okay. So that was my mistake. For some reason it looked like iron on my screen. There we go. I probably have those reversed. I always reverse those, but not this time. Good. And gears. Um, this one, I think I can use copper. Yeah. From forestry. 
So I should be able to use the copper ones. And piston goes here. Oh yeah, invar pickaxe. Um, let me just clear this. Should be able just to uh, shift click it in there. There we go. I got my invar pickaxe. And that will not shift click for some reason. Great. Grab that. That. Terrain Smasher. Yay! Alright, so with this, let me come over here. I should be able to just to uh, place it. Uh, is this going to... Hmm. Let me place it right there for now. Let me cr create a wrench or a, a hammer. And I should be able to uh, turn this around. So let me see. What would it take to create a hammer? And that's going to be tin with iron. Do I have enough tin and iron on me? Um, do I have any tin? Get rid of this aluminum because I keep seeing it. There's my t iron, or er, tin. Tin, iron, and this will definitely be used quite a bit whenever we get into thermal expansion. But for now, um, this should be able to at least rotate um, the, where the uh, the train smasher is facing. And let me just grab this empty chest that I put down here earlier, and I should be able just to over here. It's not exactly convenient, but I should be able to do that. Look in the chest, and it has my obsidian in it. Yay! Alright, so what I'm going to do is repeat the other uh, process for a little bit more obsidian, and I am going to create the alamite that I had mentioned before. Um, I believe it was alamite, and then we would be able to create the uh, the pickaxe that we're wanting to uh, to create in this episode, and I will be right back. All right, so this makes it a little bit easier. I basically created a uh, an infinite um, obsidian generator. That way, I didn't have to uh, move it over and over and over and over. So all I have to do is uh, feed it with the other uh, lava in this little hole. I'm not exactly sure why it's breaking the water, but I should be able just to. Uh, do this anytime that I want any more obsidian and it should be good to go. So let me go ahead and um, probably try to stop that. I think I can just use a, uh, a lever and that way it's not going to cause my server any lag. Uh, maybe put it on high. There we go. Cool. So now I should be able just to uh, turn it on whenever I need it and uh, feed in the lava. And I got all you can eat obsidian. Yay! Cool. So let me go ahead and make the alamite as I mentioned in the previous clip, and I will be right back. All right, I am back, and I missed a uh, small step um, being able to convert uh, these wooden patterns into the. Uh, tool binding casts. Um, basically you can uh, just create with stone, put it in your um, casting table, and just pour some of the uh, molten aluminum brass over it, just as you do with like an ingot to create the ingot cast. Uh, but this will uh, create the, uh, the three casts that we will need, and I should be able just to switch it over to the molten alamite, and be able to grab the three parts that are needed and it's automatically being pulled into there to that chest so I should be able just to uh, grab that there we go and I just went ahead and created it um, all with the alamite so I didn't have to really worry too much about it I might as well just grab the rest of this um, I don't know how much is in there let me wait on that. I don't want to uh, dump out the uh, aluminum brass yet because there might be some other things I want to uh, create. But let me go ahead and come over here, pop these into 
the tool station and you can name it I'm going to just skip the other uh, naming but you can see that we have a, a mining level of cobalt and it has three modifiers um, mining speed of 16 not too bad don't know exactly how much some of these others are um, yeah seems a little bit faster than even the other uh, ruby yeah, maybe just a tiny bit <laughs> but we could um, just take the um, redstone and put it on the alamite pickaxe and make it even faster but I'm probably not going to waste any redstone on that but you can also see that I can start mining obsidian and stuff like that now as I wasn't able to with some of the other tools so this one should provide enough durability so that I can do something like that so um, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I think in the, uh, the next episode we will go ahead and head into the nether because this Alamite pickaxe does have the um, mining speed or mining level of cobalt. So we might as well go into the nether and grab some of those ores. That way we can start creating some of the, uh, the better tools and we can start um, mining out this entire area a little bit easier. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and if you could rate the video down below, it would be greatly appreciated. And also, if you like the series, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But for now, this is goodbye.